Hello everybody! We continue making videos about our equipment and how to operate our stills. In today's video we are working on liquid management column which has name Cosma Pro. It is 2 inch column which has a liquid management unit, SPP packing inside, very powerful reflux condenser, a great product condenser, uh, cooler, yeah, and some other additional equipment. Today we're going to make some neutral spirit and show you the full process of uh, second distillation on this distiller. I don't think that I have to show you how to first run on this distiller, but if you're interested, uh, just leave in a comment and I will do it. So what comes with this distiller? You can have a look on our website, the link is going to be in the description. It's a pretty good setup if you're looking for new making neutral spirit and if you want to have set up in 2 inch size. Let's get started! I have 15 liters of loom wines with ABV of 40% in the boiler, both the extensions filled with SPP packing 5x5, then I install liquid management unit and reflux chamber on the top. Also one of the extensions uh, product cooler is attached, then needle valve and silicon hose between units. Let me show you how cooling hoses are connected and how water flow is happening. Inlet for the water is lowest tube in the product cooler. In the upper tube I install cooling hose and go to a higher tube of the reflux chamber so this hose works as a jumper. And other one from the other side of the reflux chamber is outlet. Pretty simple, but if you connect hoses in the reflux chamber in different way, the water will go to the cold finger at first and then to the spiral. So there's a possibility uh, for having air inside the reflux condenser will, and the reflux condenser is gonna be working a little worse. For heating source, today I'm going to use a heating regulator. It's not the best one for this process, but we have to show you all equipment we have uh, and this unit works absolutely fine. Uh, so we can start heating our low winds. We are able to run with power of 2300 watts and it's going to be the maximum power. If you're going to go higher than 2.3 kilowatt, the column will be choked and you will see the bubbling liquid in the side glass. Alright, heating is almost done. You can see this by looking at the thermometers. I will like to work uh, just by itself for 5 minutes in full reflux and then open the needle valve and start collection of four shorts and heads. How to collect heads on this distiller? Well, firstly, you can check just by your smell. When you be fine, you change the jar and open the needle valve uh, for needed speed for the collection hearts. Another way, it's kind of tricky one, but it's pretty popular in my country. We're going to collect four shots and heads with speed of 350 milliliters an hour. And the great thing about this distiller is that it has a compression fitting for installing thermometer directly in the liquid management unit. So next step is just to come to the column in 20 minutes, a look at the data and write down the same area. Uh, the point is just to track temperature changing every 20 minutes, so when it's going to be stable for an hour, that will be means for us that there's no four shots in heads. You, you may ask why, because spirits in the heads and four shots have different boiling point. Another, the most simple way is just to collect 7 to 10 percent of actual, actual alcohol with a slow speed. For calculation, you can use formula, which is uh, comes with a user manual or use a moonshine calculator uh, app. It's absolutely fine, so you can insert the data and understand how much of heads and hearts uh, you will have the, after the dilution for their you know, second distillation process.
Depending on the products you made your mesh from, the quantity of heads is going to be different, so this column can work really well with the cutting heads off because you're able to track the process by looking at the temperature and adjusting uh, directly. So we collected heads, here we have 600 milliliters, and now we can start collecting hearts. Uh, the temperature hasn't been changing for an hour, as you probably see over here. Uh, it is stable, the full column stable, whole temperature stable, that's fine. And the most important thing where we have to look at the uh, smell of the product. So oh, right now there's absolutely uh, neutral alcohol coming from the product collection unit, yeah, from the product cooler. So let's start collecting hearts. So right now we just need to uh, adjust the speed of collection. We running on the power of 2,300 watts, so it's uh, maximum. And uh, let's just measure how much of liquid we are collecting by the small cylinder. Uh, I think we go with a 50 milliliter cylinder and check how much of liquid we have per hour. So uh, I, I adjusted to 11 mils per 20 seconds and it's about 2 liters an hour. That absolutely great result we're having right now and uh, absolutely neutral alcohol is coming through the distiller. And uh, let's check what's the alcohol we have, uh, what's the ABV. And we, for this process I take like a professional alchemist from 90 to 100 ABV and we will see very accurate uh, result. So we got pretty good result over here 96.3 ABV and the temperature of alcohol 19.1 degrees Celsius. So if we calculate uh, to the proper temperature to 20 degrees, uh, we got 96.5 ABV. So like, almost a great spirit. I know in uh, other countries 95% ABV is already uh, spirit, but in Russia we have to go like 96.2 or something like that and that's going to be a spirit, otherwise it's just a distillate. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of ridiculous, but anyway, the result is great. As you can see, very easy setup, you just need to adjust the power, adjust the needle valve and uh, look at the temperature we have in the column and uh, let's say a few words about what we're gonna do when temperature is gonna rise in the column. So during the second distillation process you have to look and have to track each uh, temperature in your distiller at each extension and understand what's going on with your distiller. If the temperature is starting rising there's a few points about it. Uh, maybe 
if there's not enough alcohol in your boiler and you're ready to uh, getting close to the end of the process or maybe there's not enough uh, heating so you have to look at the, your control box and understand what's going on maybe you're losing amps and voltage so the power has decreased so have a look at there and understand what's going on and decrease the amount of liquid or just close the needle valve and stabilize the column again. Right now we have a huge amount of alcohol in the boilers that there's only 85 degrees Celsius so it's about 35 percent yeah so a lot and the temperature at each extension is stable so everything is fine um, it will be rising in the lower extension depending on how much uh, liquid outtake you have if there's too much, the temperature will start rising. If it's uh, okay, yeah, it's uh, about the parameter of 1.8 liter or 2 liters, it's gonna rise but really slow, so you're fine with that. When it's starting uh, rising in this extension, with, in the upper one, it means that you have to reduce the amount of outtake from the uh, liquid management unit and uh, you probably already are close to the end so look at the temperature in the boiler and understand what's going on uh, sometimes I heard George that there's no no point to see <laughs> what's the temperature in the boiler because just it's just rising yeah but uh, we can understand where when we are close to the end that's why I'm, ta I'm talking about this point Anyway, uh, let's continue collecting hearts. I think it's going to take for us maybe an hour and maybe an hour and a half and that's going to be it. Well, so, let's wait. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel and give a thumb like, it's really important to us. And also don't forget to push bell note notification and uh, we'll see you in other videos. And also, if you like to see something else in our video, just write in the comment or ask any questions, we'll be glad to answer and help. So I changed the jar to collect tails. Over here, uh, product started to being a little bit different. I could just decrease a needle valve, decrease the amount of alcohol and again stabilize the product. Uh, the column itself is still stable. There's absolutely the same parameters and uh, only in the lower, car, lower extension we have uh, temperature a bit rise like an old 0 to 1 degrees, 0 to 2, yeah, like just a little. So we could continue if you're okay with the product you're collecting, it's fine for you. But for myself, I like really neutral alcohol. So for me, it's more than enough. And I just opened the needle well to collect tails. Uh, probably I will open it fully. So the one thing about this needle valve is it, it gets hot during the second distillation when you uh, letting the through it a lot of uh, alcohol, which is obviously is very hot. So it might be a little bit tricky to adjust uh, fully open. So just to use a piece of cloth, yeah, and open the needle valve when you want to collect Sales. So I just fully opened and we will collect about five or six liters an hour when it's fully opened, it's absolutely fine. So I'm going to distill until in the boiler we get about 99 degrees Celsius and yeah, that's gonna be finished. As you see, the process was really easy. Uh, we had, we got really great result, yeah. Absolutely neutral spirit uh, with very high ABV, so we can infuse anything we like or just uh, dilute it with the water. 
Anyway, if you're gonna have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or write us directly. All information about us and links about this equipment is gonna be in the description. So if it's gonna be helpful, check out everything over there. Thank you for watching and happy distilling.